Yeah. Gang shit. Clap. Welcome back to Behind the Brim. I'm with the lovely Queen Rogue. So the interview you guys definitely been waiting for. Queen Rogue, tell us what's been new. I seen you won an interview for XBiz, so tell me more about that. XBiz. Well, I got nominated for XBiz. Um, I think, I can't remember exactly. I think I had two nominations. No, one nomination. But unfortunately, I didn't get it. It's okay. Um, I still happy because for the past few months, for the past couple of months, I've been getting nominated. Like I got nominated for the ABN, uh, Urban X now. Um, the one for X Bigs. I mean, there's another one that I got nominated. This it's a few. So I think that being nominated, even though I didn't, I don't get to win. I mean, I won last year, so and I had got nominated again this year. So we'll see what happened. But um, for me, it's like an accomplishment because even though I doesn't have too much cloud, you know what I'm saying? With, from companies, let's say this way, not too much cloud from companies, because I I build my own thing from the bottom. Everything that Queen Row does, Queen Row. We roll produce and, and, and it's my ideas and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, unless I'm you know working with another Italian and that's their idea or so whatever, but you know pretty much most of my content is 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 come from here. Uh, it's come natural. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not trying to copy anybody. Everything is original. It's just who I am. But that tell me right there that I'm doing something good, that my fans are there, that they love it, that they like it. And I have to thank my fans for everything, for pushing me, for nominating me, for giving me support and love. And I'm there for, the, I'm here for them too. So, yes, very good. <laughs> All right, what's your own favorite scene that you filmed this year? Um, one of my favorites is scene that I produced with my staff in Puerto Rico, um, Drop. Uh, that was the person that filmed it. Is my camera guy in Puerto Rico. Um, the one that I did in the the Cleopatra scenes, I, li I like the Cleopatra scene a lot, and I also like the one that I did in the alley as a nun because. For me, it was like an accomplishment because I produced those scenes and I try to make it real, real professional. And I will be going to Puerto Rico in July and I will be bringing more of that type of content. More professional in, in, in all the aspects. And uh, hopefully my fans will love it. <laughs> Alright, I know you have a, a very close relationship with fellow adult film stars. Um, can you tell me more um, how you met Princess Rogue and how did she come up with the name? Um, and how did her, her death like affect you while you were traveling? Princess Roe, you know, Princess Roe is like, it's, it's, very, it's still attached to my heart. I think she will always be in my heart. Um, unfortunately, I lost it in Puerto Rico. Um, may rest in peace, my baby girl. Uh, I met her through a friend, you know, from Puerto Rico that told me that she was interested in joining the industry. So I reached out to her and I took her under my wing and I tried to train her and everything to follow my step, you know, and uh, uh, my, my idea was to make Princess Rowe to be the next Queen Rowe at the point when I was ready to retire. You know, she was supposed to keep going with the legacy of Queen Rowe. Um, that's what I was trying to do with her. I was trying to train her. And even though, you know, when I decided to just say goodbye to the industry and retire she was going to deal with that with my legacy but unfortunately you know things happen in life sometimes we don't have control of it um i love her very much um recently it, you know it, it was her birthday um it's sad that she's two years gone um she was beautiful she was my sweetheart she was like my child like my daughter um but she always gonna be here. She around, you know, her memories and everything, how sweet she was. She always gonna be in my heart. She has a special place in my heart. And, and what else can I say? I miss her a lot. All right, um, what was your toughest time in the adult film industry and how did you overcome it? Uh, 
toughest time in the industry. I think he, he had been um, not much, I would not say, the industry. I mean, the, the hardest part was when on the beginning of my career, trying to be able to deal with the criticism, you know, with, with, with the bully, with the negativity. It, it was kind of hard, you know, dealing with that. You got to be a strong person to be able to handle that. You know, that was that is one of the reasons that a lot of girls has committed suicide in the industry because some of them can handle the bully, can deal with that. But in my position, you know what I'm saying, I was bullied since I was very young and a little. I mean, I learned to be able to deal with that. And then um, also being able to go to college and being a social worker and dealing with people that helped me a lot because I deal with people all my life. I, I mean, being a social worker for the hospital for the state of Florida teach me a lot. And so I was able to overcome that, the criticism, all that negativity. I was able to overcome that. Uh, basically, in the industry, I'm the type of person that if, if, if I reach out to somebody, you know what I'm saying, and that person doesn't have the time to shoot with me or whatever the case might be, I just keep it moving. I just don't sit there and get frustrated. Okay, it's, you know, it's your last, not my last. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, you know, uh, as you guys know, that after all these years of my career, I have never shoot with major companies except now. I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that Van Bros, um, Jacob, the producer, I'm very happy that Van Bros has gave me the opportunity to show my potential, to show that yes, I could do things on my own, but I could do things for you guys. So I appreciate, shout out to Van Bros for giving me the opportunity, Jacob, um, Everybody uh, put the little piece for me to be able to have some scenes on mainstream. Um, but there's still all the companies that I have kind of reached out and they have not given me the opportunity there or they haven't reapplied to my email on reference joining, you know, trying to make some scenes with them. But it's okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, you know, as you know, the time that we are living, you don't need no major company to give you a shout out, to give you a cloud or none of that. Yes, it does help. You know, it does help because obviously it's going to give you exposure, cloud. But it doesn't mean that because you have no shoe with a major company, you're going to get stuck there. No, because it's everything is effort. You know what I mean? You put all your effort into it, you put your mind into it, and you will work very hard, you will accomplish that. So you should be fine. So other than that, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing perfectly fine. Um, what are your future plans after porn? Do you own any businesses outside of the adult film industry? Yes. I mean, after I say goodbye and to the industry, I do own a semi-truck business. Um, I also working in the real estate. I have, you know, a few things in the real estate. So I'm trying to learn more and about when you do flip houses, investing and all that. I'm trying to learn more about that part, you know, the real estate business. Um, I also have other stuff in mind, for example, like for my own website, you know, recruit talent to shoot for me, travel to different countries and different places, um, try to help the people that is on need, especially females that is on need to maybe support the children. Maybe, you know, I mean, and if there is something, you know, not everything in the industry is bad, but as you know, the, the economy is real bad. And, and there's people out there struggling. And I don't feel that you're not doing any killing, you're not committing crimes out there, or not, you're not hurting anybody. Why is it that you cannot just join the industry for you to be able to move forward? Why not? You know what I'm saying? As long as you are ready and prepared for it, and this is what you want to do, then just go for it. So that's pretty much my other type of business that I'm going to be focused on trying to help, especially females, to be self-sufficient and be powerful women. All right. Um, my last question is, who do you want to film with this year that you haven't gotten to film with or they've been busy or she's been busy? There's a few people in the industry. I think most of them are from L.A. I definitely want to shoot with, um, oh my God. What are they? Yeah, I put Jay you Mark? on the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to shoot with this guy. It's called Mark. 
I want to shoot with uh, J Mac. Uh, what is the other guy? Sin? Sin? Did I say that right? Yeah. Him. I would love to shoot with him. We talked one time, but after that, it was, we never was able to complete, you know, our conversation. Uh, this is also Maximo, Maximo Garcia, something like that. He's okay. a new talent also. So I would love to chill with them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. A lot of them has contract with Brasser, so they don't give you the opportunity to shoot with them. Oh, uh, okay. We'll see. All right, leave us with your social media. My social media, my OnlyFans, is OnlyFans.com, Queen Row. Uh, I do have a Snapchat. It's Queen Row. Q row 27 you guys could follow both of my pages on Instagram my main page is official Queen row on this on this core and the other one is Queen row backup those are my two pages on Instagram and my Twitter my Twitter is Queen row triple X one so you guys have to make sure you know like X videos is Queen row uh, porn hobby is Queen row many videos is Queen row I do have loads of fans and I do have fans like all of them are Queen row just make sure you know there's a lot of pages that they create when it come oh my TikTok official Queen row on this score on this score but there's gonna be some pages that you guys have to watch watch the spelling because if they spell the my name wrong that means that's not my page i do not spell my name wrong so in this picture i don't understand because some people put like queen row but then they have put the whole completely different name at the bottom so you guys need to understand that's not me don't get scammed there's a bunch of snapchat pages there's a there's tiktok pages now there's instagram pages there's facebook pages you know what i'm saying make sure that you guys are big very very careful don't do not do any transactions up there without you know securing that that's who you're talking to that that's me so no, that's not me if you see a page that say queen roll and start following you i don't know where that's not me that's a fake page that is starting to scam you and, and i don't really discuss business on social media my email queen roll triple x at gmail.com that's how i conduct my business through social, I mean through my email, social media, I, I don't really talk about my business in the industry or anything like that. All right, thank you so much again. You're very Corona. welcome. It's been a pleasure as Same always. Same here. Get out this shit, I'ma give me some bands. Mike on my feet, Mike and marry my pants. When I go to sleep, I'ma pray in advance. No, I'ma make it, I've been making plans. Get out this shit, I'ma give me some new shit. Probably hop out with a bullet. If it's beef, I ain't making no music. We really spend blocks and shoot shit. You ain't getting money, you stupid. Wanna go to war, get your money up. I can put you six feet, get my money up. Or I can put you on the feet from a double up. Young girl, same shit. Roll call, gang shit. Trigger finger, anxious. 30 cells, same click. Your pockets ain't up, you ain't got enough. 